Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations, where a few things have happened in between episodes. Like, for starters, I upgraded some of my gear, so now I've got a little bit more defense. Let's see here, I've got, uh, six, ten whole defense points more than I had before. That's phenomenal. Also, I figured out how to get the Monster Hunter 4U bonus stuff, and also, uh, the Meowstress here got a little bit captured. This happens sometimes. I'm surprised she doesn't talk about how this Mufa is kind of grabbing her. But yeah, now we can get Sunsnug and Caligold here. Of note, gathering cats are also thief cats in this game, which is nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and hire both of them. And we'll also hire Nyanbo and Mario, just because they exist. Also, you may have noticed that uh, I've swapped out uh, Snaggle for Happy here. Because assist cats are much better than freaking charisma cats. But anyway, let's get back to the Hunter's Hub. Where I am actually... Like, if I hunted one more Lagombi and then a bunch of Blangos... I would actually be able to upgrade to the to the Legombi longsword, which wouldn't actually be a terrible idea, but I don't want to hunt two monster or two of the same monster in a row unless I can do it in different quests. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right. Oh, okay. Sure. So, we need some fur scraps, but we can get fur scraps. How many fur scraps do we need for a full set? We need three fur scraps. Uh, not from pouch. Let's do list. So, in one more quest, we'll actually be able to get a full set of baby Tigrex gear, which is adorable, and I want it, which is why I've done what I've just done. Um, can we make any better weapons for these cats? I mean, we'd have to actually get some scraps, but... Eh, they can wait. And let's just see if we can forge any new longswords. We can make the iron katana. Maybe that'll be easily upgradable. And this is the only thing that we could potentially make that would start with green sharp. So, oh, there's also this, but yeah, it would take some upgrading. But let's make an iron katana right now, but not equip it. And can we upgrade it? Ooh, once we get one more Macalite, we can, and then we'll be in business. Because I would rather like some green sharp. Like, really, I, I kind of want it. But anyway, let's have us a meal. Uh, neither one's special right now, so let's go for the one that gives health. Because health is more valuable than stamina when you get eight rations. Moxie seems like a good idea. As does Combiner High. Hopefully we get both. Yay! Alright, let's go ahead and dump everything. And then we'll take our potions and our mega potions. We got the potions from the 4U item pack. I didn't go combining them. Though I did set herb... Or, no, not herbs. I set sap plants for the farm because... I don't actually have access to the mushroom farm yet. So yeah. Now let's get these and these. And these. 
And I think that ought to do it. Yeah. So let's register this as a set. I messed up. Oops. Nope, don't want that. Want these. Want these. Want these. And these. And these. And these. That was it, right? Looks like it. Register set. There we are. Things are not on sale today, so I shan't buy anything. Alright. So, Tetsukabra would probably be unpleasant. Gypsaros would be okay, I'm sure. And... That's all we gotta do, isn't it? But let's go for a Bulldrome. And there's a reason we're going for a Bulldrome. It's because we want to make some gear out of it. Specifically the head, chest, and legs. Which will probably take a few Bulldromes, but it'll be very, very worth it. Very, very worth it. And we're in the Misty Peaks. Which I rather enjoy. Okay, rations. And onward. We should also be able to get the jaggy stuff we're going to need while we're here. So that's nice too. Go ahead and leave these gargwas be. Hello, turtle. I need shiny beetles. I wonder, given that the color of the shiny beetles matches the color of killer beetles from previous games, I wonder if they just renamed killer beetles. It's a possibility. Dang it. So starting with the poke is clearly the most accurate way of making sure you hit. Thanks for missing there, Jaggy. I'm gonna need hides from a bunch of you little jerks. Probably some scales too. Maybe even some fangs. Die, please. Yeah, my meter goes down real fast if I don't actually get it filled. I I just tried to say full and filled at the same time, and it did not work. Filled, yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't work. Oh, bull drum's here. But I don't care about bull drum right now. I need more jaggy stuff. Come on, Jaggy, just die for me. Thank you. Oh, hi, Bulldrome. Bulldrome. All right, let's get this Jaggy. Oh. Ooh, I forgot your entire body is a weak zone. Also, bull drums have like 3 HP, so this won't be a long quest. Let's carve some wood here while we can. Let us make the Yukimo sword, which... The Yukimo weapons tend to be really good for when you first get them, but they drop off really fast. So, like... When we can first make this, it'll be good, but not long after, there'll be other weapons that are better. Yo, bull drum, over here. Okay, not actually up there. All right. And there we are. Since the sub is two mounts, we will absolutely be going for those.
I like how this Bulldrome has already struggled more against my mounts than the Legombi did. the mistake of putting my weapon away. You actually don't want to do that in most cases. I think I'll just not shove honey into these first aid meds. Be a bit of a waste against a bulldrome. You jerk. Well, since you're way over there... Oh no. Okay. That could have gone worse. Why does Bulldrome get the actual Misty Peaks battle music instead of the medium monster music? That's weird. Bulldrome, you shouldn't have the Misty Peaks battle music. You're not nearly important enough to actually have large monster battle music. There we go. Actually got some gauge. Oh, you leaving? Dang. Almost tagged it. That's fine. We'll find it again some other time. We've got more jaggies. And more mining to do. And more bug catching to do. And more lots of things. This is going to be our first hunt where we actually really go for stuff other than the monster we are hunting. Thanks, Jaggy. Thanks, Jaggy. Oh, good. I'm glad I've got my spirit gauge all charged. Or meter. Whatever it is. It's charged. Ah, Balmstone. Eh, ooh, blue mining node. So, something worth noting about nodes in this game. Unlike in 4U, they... As far as I can tell, they don't despawn if you're in the area. Unless you've actually mined them out. Which is great. Because... Nobody liked running towards a blue node only to have it despawn just before they got to it, or even just as they were giving it a whack. That was terrible. Nobody enjoyed it. So I am very pleased to report that it's different now. Blue mushrooms are good. We need more of them. Uh, what is it that we can combine here? There's a thing that you can make using the, uh, the bamboo shoots here. I think. Where is it? Maybe I'm mistaken. Could have sworn there was, though. Maybe I just missed it. Oh, well. Now's not the time. Ooh, some jaggy uh. Those are nice. Get to carve them twice. Thanks, jaggy. Oh, thanks for the health horn there. All right. Let me fill my meter, please. I really do need to get a handle on the longswords combos. It'll happen. It's just... It's 
different than what I'm used to, so it's going to take a learning curve. Okay, Jaggy, now it's your turn. Oh, you jerk. Cat, you didn't have to hit it away from my strikes. I get that you're trying to help, but my sword does more damage than your boomerang. Oh, is that another Jagia? Why, it is. And soon it won't be. Oh, bull drum's here. But it hasn't spotted us yet. Now it has. Why isn't the music playing? Ah. Okay, Bulldrum, do your thing. Ow. That wasn't very nice. Says the guy who immediately turned around and stabbed you in the butt. It's a shame this area has no ledges and therefore we can't work towards that subquest in here. Aw, oh, you jerk. Oh, really? You're leaving already? Must have heard me talking about how I wanted ledges. Because it went somewhere that has them. But before we follow it, I'm going to take a brief detour. And also, I'm going to kill these jaggies. Because really, I want their parts. Because I need to make their uh, arms and waist. Or maybe it's chest. Yeah, I think chest and waist. Thanks, Cat, for keeping the Jaggy off me for a moment there. Now, unfortunately, since we don't have a, a Charisma Cat, nothing will stop Univer from slacking off anymore. Oh gee, thanks for the cheer horn when my gate or my uh, hunter art meter is already full. You've done nothing for me. You've only helped the other cat. Okay, and hey, there's a mining node. Let's go mine it. Cause darn it, I need ore, lots of it. And let's actually go in here, because there's more mining to be done over here than in the other place. Yeah, look at that. There's two whole nodes. And what have you got? Ooh, that's nice. Honestly, I probably should have saved my armor spheres for when I actually made different armor, but whatever. Ooh, while we're here. Dung. And as you may have noticed with that bone pile in front, or rather, above our little question mark, 
nodes can spawn in. They just don't despawn while you're in the area, which is great. Because having them being able to spawn in means things like this can happen. You can see a node pop in and just go for it. So in here, there's a bug spot. Two of them. Well, there's a honey spot and a bug spot. And there's a mushroom spot, but I think I'll ignore the mushrooms for now. I want a shiny beetle. Oh, there's another bug spot. Okay, let's get rid of... Hmm. The easy flashes. They keep the bull drum still, but honestly, bull drum's not a huge issue without that, so... We should be fine. Getting some more Yukimo wood. Generally, if you carve, like, three or four trees, should give you enough Yukimo wood for all of your purposes, if memory serves. But hey, we'll see. Fifteen percent of the items you gathered, what? What were you trying to tell me? Hopefully nothing sinister. So there's a bug spot in here and plenty of mushroom spots if we cared. But we don't. Looks like the dragon seer isn't here today. So we'll actually have to find the bulldrome. Getting plenty of carpenter bugs. And honestly, that's pretty good. No bull drums in here, but there is another mining spot. And I like those. So I'm gonna go for it. Yay, more Macalate. And while we're in the area, let's go stop by the base camp. Oh, hang on, bull drum showed up. Gotta paint it. It's been following us. Here, have some of this. Right in the eye. But yes, to the base camp. Because there are some things we can do there that'll make our lives a little easier. First, we stop by the red box and deliver non-quest items. As a good chunk as any in points. And then, the transporter. Let's give him the stuff that we don't need. And he'll take it to our item box back home. Thus, leaving us with all this empty inventory space to do more gathering. You can do this once per quest. He's in every base camp for a full hunting area. Which makes it so that, you know, gathering quests in this game, you can gather a lot more than you otherwise would be able to. Which I won't complain about. Hey, Bulldrum. Let's go over by the ledge. Because I need to ride you one more time. So. Okay, this is just a bundle of sticks. Yo, Happy, get over here. Don't know why I'm crouching. Old drum, get, get to the bottom of the ledge. Cats, get over here. Yo, Bulldrum, right here. 
Yeah, that's right. Oh, you've gone too far. Cats, get over here. Let's try and get him to move laterally to the ledge. That way he should get closer. Come on, Boldrome. Cats, what the hell are you doing? Get over here. Boldrome? There we go. Okay, it's fine that I took that hit. Nope, you stay put, Boldrome. Oh, you jerk. I hate this pig. Honestly, if it never came back in another Monster Hunter game, I wouldn't mind. Really? You're going to stop just short? Don't know that I can actually get the right angle with you up there. Yeah. Yeah, we need you at the bottom of a ledge like that. No, you jerk! I hate you so much, pig. All right. Well, we wanted to come up here at some point anyway. Also, we're probably going to have to kill some Bulfangos in addition to the... Whoa, you can come up here? I did not know that. And I pressed that button with very poor timing. Okay, I was kind of hoping you would move into such a location as where my sword could hit you. Like it just did. Because that's really all I want, is to hit you with my sword while falling. One, maybe two more hits for the next ride? Is my guess. Yeah, one. And away we go, round and around. I like how we actually just made a really tight circuit around the stump. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to get an add-up dodge there, but whatever. Let's carve this little guy. Okay. I wonder. Ooh. We don't even have to have our weapon unsheathed to go into it because you have to hit X before you hit R. That is great. That's, like, really good. That opens up a lot of options. Like, specifically, the one option to have your sword sheath when you dodge. That's one option, not a lot, but... It's a very versatile option. Because it means we can be running around at full speed and still get an add-up dodge and still use it to its full effect. Though we actually have to dodge. Like so. We don't even need our meter. We only need enough meter to actually just use the moves. Now that is really, really nice. Okay. Feeling better and better about my choice to use Adept Longsword all the time. There are, there are definitely some monsters where I will be wanting to use Aerial Longsword instead. But Boldrome ain't one of them. Oops. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I didn't have the meter to use. Well, let's get some meter. Okay. Ooh. Po 
poison perism is actually really nice. Because, as you can see, it's a pit trap with poison. Cats, get the hell over here. You put this down for a reason, and it's not to just let the bulldrum run on by. Oh. It's almost dead, and it's running away. Though I use the term running loosely. Well, let's get these bullfangos, because I assume I will be needing their parts. Yeah, honey is pretty precious. How about you, Mr. Fango? Yeah, I was kind of hoping I would flinch you. But I guess my weapon is not powerful enough for that. Certainly not with only yellow sharp. If it had green sharp in the same raw, it probably would have done it. And carving the final tree here. Ooh, an insect husk. So glad I got that. Thanks for the heal, cat. Shame that poison per isn't is going to waste. Or maybe not. Yo, Bulldrum, over here. Cats, you too. Come here, kitties. Okay, Bulldrum, in the trap. Any time now. There we go. I like how Bulldrome just gets caught upside down in pits. Really? Okay. Ooh, that was close. And that was a waste. And there we go. There's another Bulfango to try and kill once we're done carving the drome. Okay, we don't need jumbo bones, we need actual bull drum stuff. There we go. All right, Fango, you're up next. See, that's what I had been hoping for. Being a red meter definitely helps. A red gauge. I really need to get the terminology straight. I really do. And hopefully we can kill and carve this one as well. Alright, it's dead. Give me the carve. Good. Excellent. Okay. Couple tusks and some hides. Ultimately, not a great haul. But hopefully it'll at least be good enough. Pretty good level jump for Happy. Okay. I'll actually do my uh, armory stuff off camera. So that'll be it for this episode. Join us next time for another hunt. See you then, friends.